New, 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 new. Time for new. All right, uh, let's kick this off. Yes. Okay. First up, we have. Well, it just looks like the arcade bonnet guide uh, bundle we had already. Um, this is very similar to the um, arcade. Uh, sorry. This is very similar to the Raspberry Pi um, game bonnet we had, but this time uh, it comes with a Raspberry Pi WH, which means it's fully assembled, and we got this kit together specifically for use with MakeCode. Um, so you can just plug it in and uh, run your MakeCode games and then drag it onto an SD card. Uh, all you need is an HD uh, cable, HDMI cable and a USB power supply uh, to get started. So as we do some MakeCode arcade projects, this is the bundle to get for really easy Raspberry Pi Zero arcade making. Okay, next up. Okay, star the here of the Calliope is the Calliope. Um, so the Calliope Mini is a board from Germany, which is a derivative of the Microbit. It uses the same chipset as the Microbit, it's the NRF51822, and it has some other similarities. It's got um, the 5x5 LED matrix you can see. Um, again, it's got that same chip. It's got the same programming chip as well, so you can uh, program it the same way with drag and drop. Um, but besides that, it actually has a couple differences. Well, one, it's flat on the bottom, so it might be better for some uh, projects where you want it to sit flat on a, um, a piece of paper or fabric, so it's maybe more wearable friendly. Um, it's got a bunch more breakouts here that you can solder to. Instead of the edge mount connector, it's got these um, six kind of star pads around the corner, uh, in different corners. Um, there's four GPIO and then power and ground, and I think these four GPIO are also capacitive touch and analog inputs. Um, there's a built-in buzzer, there's a buzzer over here. It still has the A and B buttons. Um, they're different colors, one's blue and one's pink, which is kind of cute. It's got a much more advanced uh, inertial measurement unit. So the micro bit has a magnetometer plus accelerometer. This has a nine degree of freedom uh, magnetometer gy gyroscope, which means it can do um, a lot more complicated positioning and motion sensing. It's got a built-in NeoPixel here. Um, it's got a MEMS audio microphone, so it can detect audio as well. And it looks like you can solder on an, some chips here if you'd like, and then it's got two uh, Grove connectors, so if you have Grove um, add-ons or adapters that you can want to add if you want to add more capability or sensing, instead of alligator clipping, you can just plug them in. Um, it's also much bigger, as you can see, and it, it is a little bit more expensive because it has all that extra hardware. That said, um, it can use uh, MicroPython. You would use the microbit definition, and then you would just uh, treat all the hardware as if it was connected to microbit pins. You can also use a version of MakeCode um, for the Calliope. They have like calliope.makecode.com or something. And um, it's uh, available and it has blocks for all the little built-in um, add-ons like the microphone and, and the piezo beeper. Um, so yeah, this is a, a really nice update. I think for people who started with a microbit and they're like, well, I want more hardware. I'm willing to spend a little bit more to get a lot more built-in. Um, this is way more powerful and advanced in its ability to connect to external hardware and have hardware built in. Yeah. So that's the Calliope. Comes with neat stuff too. It comes with uh, some stickers. Book. It comes with a book. Um, all the documentation is in German, but it's it's very easy to use. Comes with a USB cable and battery pack mm -hmm. as well. So it's a very nice uh, addition to the MakeCode Micro Python family. Modules. We got some modules. Modules. Okay, we got two modules. We've got the uh, this is the NR52 832 which is also uh, the same module we use in our Feather, NRF52832. It's a uh, Cortex-M4 with a BLE. It um, doesn't have USB built in. It doesn't have native USB, um, but it's a pretty powerful uh, NRF52 chip. So this is a module, if you are an advanced programmer, you're like, oh, I know what SWD is, I have a JLink. Um, you can use, so there's Arduino code, there's MicroPython code, there's, um, there's, um, uh, Minute has support for it. There's some other RTOSs that have support for this chip. However, you're on your own. It doesn't even come with a bootloader. It's completely blank. So when you get this chip, you'll have to solder it onto a PCB and get it working. Yeah, but if you want one that has USB support... Likewise, yes. We have also the NR52840, which is the same chip that's used in our Feather NR52840. This is, again, just the module. Comes blank. No bootloader, no code, no nothing. And this one also has pads on the bottom, so it's a lot more challenging to solder. Uh, the NR52832, you have a shot of hand soldering it, not easy, but you can do it with um, some skill. This has, um, uh, if you can go to the photo, this has all the pads on the bottom, as you see. Uh, you cannot solder them from the side, so you do need to have a stencil, and you need to have hot air 
or uh, some other rework system that can can heat up the whole board to uh, melt the paste. But you know, this is uh, these modules from Raytac. They're FCC, CTELIC certified. They're tin. They have the antenna. They have a bunch of uh, passives and, and crystals and stuff inside of them. They're very easy to use. And of course, you can use our feathers as um, a reference design for when you want to use them. So each one is now available in the store for your own design. Okay. We got some radio fruits. Radio fruits. Yeah. Choo choo. We okay. Got a here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Last week we had the radio Laura bonnet, and this time we've added more. Um, we've now got, um, they all look very similar, but we have the RFM 69. So this is a radio, not Laura. You can see a little demo here. You can send packets. Um, and we also have this in 900 megahertz and 433 megahertz. You can adjust the frequencies a little bit, but um, they're, they're meant to be around that, you know, plus or minus 50 megahertz. There's um, no bonnets that, uh, or Laura that have OLEDs that I could find. No, this is, I, I, you know, we, because we have this extra space, we're like, well, what should we put there? And we're like, should we put a GPS? And she's like, yeah. you know, okay. you can always get GOIP data. I didn't think that was as useful as having an yeah. OLED, which is really useful when you're doing radio. Cause you're, like, so these the look similar, but I'm just going through them anyway. They all look very similar. But if we have the Laura 433, we have the RFM 69 900 433. So we have now all four versions, including a landing page. And this yeah. is this is a photo showing all four. So we have... Laura, RFM 9X, RFM 69, two frequencies. Um, so they all use the mm. same PCB because the modules are identical. The code is different. We've got code for both in CircuitPython. Um, for the Laura, we have some LoRaWAN example code, like how to make this into a LoRaWAN gateway, how to send data to the, the Things Network. And for the RFM 69, it doesn't speak Laura. It's less expensive. It doesn't go as far. But if you're, you know, want to send data to and from feathers. Uh, so maybe you know set up a, a sensor node where this is um, an RFM 69 with a radio. It's talking to three different feathers uh, that also have RFM 69 radios, and then it can funnel that data to the internet. So you can make your own you know low cost radio networks using these really great chips. Um, both chips have um, you know retransmission and encryption, and um, uh, the OLED will of course let you know the status. And of course, you, you can send the, use the buttons to send data or send ten test packets or change modes or something. So these are kind of the easiest way for you to add LoRa or packet radio capabilities to um, your Raspberry Pi. They were, they're Raspberry Pi zero shape, but they of course work with a Pi 3. Uh, check out our circuit Python code for all of them and um, pick the frequency that matches your country. In some countries, the license free is 433 and some like in the US, it's 900. Okay. And that's new products.